Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Houghton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to download and install a program called Epic Games Launcher. Now, Epic Games is an awesome system. It has so many different features of games and stuff for Windows. And pretty much, it's another competition against like Activision and Blizzard and Riot Games and Ubisoft and pretty much other systems that are out there. And it's another one that you can play games for it. Well, pretty much, we're going to be showing you how to install the Epic Games Launcher here in Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get started right after this sponsor. Are you tired of keeping track of all your different passwords and not even able to log in? Stop writing down passwords. Use RoboForm. Not only does RoboForm store your passwords, it logs you in with one click, so no more typing. RoboForm uses industry standard encryptions for all your data, so you can be absolutely sure that your information is secure. With over 20 years of experience and more than 30,000 five-star reviews, RoboForm is a perfect solution to your password problems. So head over to the link below and make your password problems simple. All right, guys, so pretty much all you have to do is pretty much go to a browser. You can choose anyone you want. I really don't care. I'm pretty much going to know. Just open up the Microsoft Edge because we're just using it just to get to the site. And what we're going to do is go on the search bar. We're going to type in Epic Games. I totally, I don't know how randomly that got in there. Epic Games dot com. And we're going to go ahead and press enter and it should take us to their site. I'll give it a little second. I know it depends how it's loading for the site. And here it is. And once everything comes up, you'll go to the right side of the screen, as you see right here, and you'll select the download. Now, what pretty much what it's doing, it's downloading their software, their Epic Games installer, and let it finish doing itself. And once you're there, you can pretty much can open the file if you need to, or depending where you downloaded it to. Let's say you went to Downloads. You can select Explorer and go to Downloads and select the system for you. And there's pretty much the Epic Games Installer. Um, pretty much on here on the browser, I can pretty much just press Open. And here it is. And we're now pretty much on their screen. I'm going to go ahead and just X this out. I don't need the browser anymore. And it tells us if you want to install your destination folder to install Epic Games. Now, again, this is just basic installing it on Windows 11. Now, if you're not a big person that wants to do it just on Windows 11, you can just on Windows 10 too. It won't hurt anything. Also, if you know how other people, gamers, install software in different locations, you can do that by going to change. But do not attempt this if you don't know what you're doing. So let's go ahead and press continue. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And right now, pretty much the software is pretty much being installed and letting us do it itself. Let's see how long it takes right now. So right now, the Epic Games Launcher icon has appeared on Windows already, so that's a good sign. It's installing DirectX, it said right now. That's another program that we might sometimes need to fix if your Windows is not working correctly. But it seems it's probably installing with it. And let's see what's coming up. A couple things are popping up. I guess they're right here. And here it is. Now, if it comes to a point it's installing, it didn't want to. It was there and it's installing, but it did not tell me. I manually selected. So here it is, prompted going to press yes. So that does, it was on the bottom area. So do keep an eye on this software being installed. This has happened before. Regardless, it's installing. And let it do itself right now. Alrighty, I think it's probably done. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh, here it comes up. It says Epic Games. It's installing. And it's verifying updates. And let's see how it goes. Alrighty, so now it's pretty much downloading some additional updates that's needed for it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work. And we'll see what it does after that part's done. It'll come to a point eventually to a location where you're supposed to sign into any of your social networks or create an Epic Games account and stuff like that. But it has to do all this process. It's pretty much like using like Steam. You have to install Steam, but it still has to have additional more downloads for it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work. So now it's pretty much going to verify updates. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do that part right now. And we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so now I pretty much verified. Now it's prompting me that you will need to allow this installation for it to work. Go ahead and press yes because it's pretty much going to do changes for the software because it's still in process. So go ahead and press yes and let it do the installation for it. So 
Alrighty, so pretty much during that process, I'm going to see if it opens up by itself. Oh, here it came up automatically. And let's see what happens. Alrighty, Epix is still loading up. As you understand, it does come to a little bit for it. I think it might be getting a glitch because it actually has a white background. So I'm probably going to X this out and see what happens again. But pretty much right now, it's showing us your login options. You can pretty much use the Epic Games. You can use the Facebook, Google, Google, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, even through Steam. That's crazy. And even through Apple. So I'm going to go to this program out and reopen it again. I want to see if it loads correctly. If not, it might be getting a glitch currently underneath that white background. Let's see what happens. All right, I guess it's just a standard. Because I just remember I used to install this program. It used to be like a dark black background. But pretty much the program is installed. You just have to sign into your account and you should be good. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.